we don't know a lot yet about what's coming to market um, in the spring auctions, but you've dug out a few pieces, and this is one of them. Yeah, yeah. The spring auctions are still about a month off, so you're going to see the major auction houses starting to roll out some of their highlights and shop them and see sort of who who's up, up to bid. And, and Eve Klein is um, a really well-known French artist who... Um, was just sort of edgy before his time. He would use things like water and blow torches to create sort of charred, ashy, really cool pieces. He also is perhaps the only artist I know that has actually coined a color. He is sort of, he stuck his claim on um, this really vivid um, color blue that has since become his signature. People kind of know international Klein blue is kind of a, a byword for, uh, I mean, he just slathered a lot of his works over the years. And is that what color. we're looking at it right yeah, now? Yeah, you'll so see. Is, is yeah. this the piece that's coming up for auction? Tell yeah. us about this particular sure. piece. Christie's on May the 8th will be asking um, anywhere from 30 to $40 million for this work. It's called FC1, so it sort of stands for Fire Color One. Um, 1962 work that he um, a really cool process. He basically um, asked a co doused a couple of models in water, asked them to go up and press themselves against this um, fire-resistant piece of cardboard, um, and then while their imprints were still sort of dripping wet, he sort of took a blowtorch to the whole thing, um, and obviously, you know, the, the outline of where they were that was still drippy um, <laughs> wasn't as scorched as much as the rest. And so, um, then after that was done, he slathered the models in in his signature blue paint and had them press them themselves against, uh, against in the same position. And then he sort of tinkered with it, adding some pink paint, adding some other sort of, he used an airbrush to kind of go over again their outlines. It kind of makes this sort of a sexy cave painting yeah, if, wet, if you're in the market for that. Wet models slathering self, themselves <laughs> with water and blue paint. Harlan, that's my producer. Why don't we have B-roll of that? What's wrong with you? Come on. Get on it. He's, All right. Yeah. Backing up. So this will come on. You said, what was the price tag on? 30 to 40 million? 30 to 40 million dollars. Easily it will be his record. Um, I think the most anyone has ever paid for work by him is around. 23.5 million. Sotheby's um, set that record at the peak of the market four years ago. So this will definitely be a test for Klein, but is also a test in some ways for you know post-war art again in this in this climate. You may have mentioned this earlier, but if I might have missed it, he, he's not alive anymore. No, he, his story is also I think a really compelling part of the marketing for this picture. He died at 34. Um, he had a heart condition, and um, I mean this blowtorch that he would wield was 80 pounds. So you know his wife has written um, really um, sweetly about sort of just watching him really work himself into a lather really creating these works um, and then he would have to kind of set the blowtorch down and kind of you know regulate his breathing he died you know literally a month or two after completing this picture so, which so, is part of the reason it's so yeah, valuable now yeah you could argue it's a sort of one of his last masterpieces if not his masterpiece